Back in 1501, when Michelangelo was asked by the Grand Pope Master what was the secret to his statue of David work of genius, Mike replied that he is simply removing everything that is not David. And this is just a simple permutation of the overall principle which runs under the name of via negativa, essentially used to describe what God is by focusing on describing what he is not. And then we adjusted and expanded this notion and its meaning by thinking about it as a way of improving one's life by removing the unessential. And you can simply start by removing that pepperoni off your pizza, right Mike? And then taking a look at your habits as well. And only then look at the people as keeping one's distance from an ignorant person is equivalent to keeping company with a wise man. Because there's a word on the street that if you want to improve one's life, you should add tons of stuff in. You know, the new year, new me cliche where people usually outline that they want to quit smoking, go to the gym or read more books. And combining this with the paradox of choice, where more options can potentially lead to bad decisions and lower satisfaction rate, your new year, new me goals will eventually collapse. So what about instead of reading more books, you try reading no books at all, or maybe revisiting the books you already read, eliminating routines where you are not making any progress, or cleaning up that small pile of dust sitting on your desk for a few months. Addition to subtraction. And I suppose it's also about avoiding being trapped in the first place. Our mind is usually biased towards progress through positive action. The plus and the minus you see in the school, in the grading system, the games we play and even the gamification in our workflow. And we don't usually think about the bad things that didn't happen simply because the mistakes were avoided in the first place. The subtraction was there, either by luck or chance or actual purpose. It is remarkable how much long-term advantage people like us have gotten by trying to be consistently not stupid instead of trying to be very intelligent. And sometimes the universe aims for balance and attempts to remove the unessential from our life just to make us stronger. But we are stubborn enough and we keep dumping more things in. And I think that removing the unessential is a good exercise overall. And please do let me know in the comment section what type of activity you consider unessential and could be removed from your life. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.